Today, I'm gonna to be taking y'all with me deep in the jungle of Costa Rica. From its massive volcanoes to stunning waterfalls to unreal wildlife, this country really has it all. I'm gonna be spending three days in the heart of the jungle exploring some of the best nature this place has to offer. All right, y'all, well, welcome to beautiful Costa Rica. We finally made it after a crazy journey. We had to take two planes. We almost missed one. We had to spend a night on the airport floor, a wild series of taxis and long buses, but we finally made it to uh, La Fortuna. So we are in the north part of the country. And actually right now, we are at the famous La Fortuna waterfall, which is one of the biggest waterfalls. It's like almost 300 feet or something. So it's right there behind me. And we're actually gonna go ahead and hike down to it and we'll check it out. And I actually wanted to introduce Hamza, who I'm gonna be doing this whole trip with. Uh, we both really wanted to do like Costa Rica, some sort of backpacking thing. So I asked him, he said, yeah, and here we are. Yeah, hey, what's up guys? We planned this trip like a week ago. Stay along for the adventure. It's gonna be a good one. Oh, yeah. And one thing that I have heard a ton about, and we actually saw one yesterday um, at our hostel, just hanging above our pool. You can see tons of sloths, like monkeys. There's like, you know, toucans, all sorts of exotic birds. So definitely gonna keep our eyes peeled, looking up in the jungle and hopefully we see something cool. And we actually started this journey like pretty early around 7 a.m. to try to beat all the crowds because that's right when the waterfall opens. We've seen a few people so far, but it looks like most of them are going to be coming later. So hopefully we have uh, most of it to ourselves. Well, we finally made it up those however many stairs, but that took forever. Felt like so much easier on the way down, but that's expected. So we made it back up. That waterfall was amazing, but I am so glad that we got here when we did because now it is completely crowded and it's hard to even get like shots in the water. Um, it's just so many people. So if you're gonna head to the La Fortuna waterfall, definitely go right at 7 a.m. when it opens and it'll be a lot easier to just enjoy it without having so many people around. So yeah, I think the next step is we're gonna grab a quick lunch and then head off to these amazing suspension bridges like all over the rainforest. A ton of people said it's awesome, so I'm excited to check it out. So we're actually just having lunch right now and we happen to look up and there's a monkey right in the trees up there. All right, we've officially made it to the next location. So these are a bunch of like hanging suspended bridges all across the rainforest. And people say they're amazing because of all the wildlife. You can see like sloths, monkeys, toucans, and like all sorts of cool stuff like that. And we actually just got our very first look at the top of the Arano volcano, which I believe is, might be the tallest volcano in all of Costa Rica or something like that, I could be wrong. But it's one of the most famous landmarks in the entire country regardless. So we're actually gonna go hike around that all day tomorrow. So we'll get some cool shots there. But a lot of times the cloud cover unfortunately covers the peak of the volcano. So we just got really lucky and got a sighting up the very top. Can already tell we're kind of getting into the rainforest. So I'm curious to see how this is. Unfortunately, we didn't see quite as much wildlife as we had thought on the bridges, but this may have been because we went during the peak of the day. But regardless, the views from the bridges were absolutely stunning with several shots of the volcano and the surrounding rainforest. All right, y'all, we are on one of the awesome suspension bridges. We actually have it completely to ourselves. It's unbelievable that we're in basically in the middle of the rainforest. After leaving the suspended bridges, we took a quick Uber ride down to Arena Lake where we decided to try and rent some kayaks before the sun went down. Actually, I actually hopped in a couple of kayaks. 
snacks. Um, we hiked to them for like a couple hours, and it was actually really cheap. It was like 30 US dollars for about two hours. So yeah, we're exploring this beautiful lake. Uh, it's basically called Arano Lake, and the reason for that is right behind me is the Arano Volcano. This is one of the most beautiful, peaceful, and cheapest things to do here, and so far it's amazing. It's like perfect temperature, you get a nice little breeze. You couldn't ask for a better day, really. doesn't get much better than this. The clouds kind of cleared up. We got a full shot at that entire volcano. This is unbelievable. We got some cheap beers at the market right before we came here, so that's what this is all about. <laughs> but man, it's just beautiful being out here. Well, y'all, we've been looking at this volcano the whole time that Hamza turned around and actually showed me like, you can see the sun's rays kind of peeking through the clouds. And it's just completely beautiful. And the cool thing is there's like, Nobody out here. There's really no other boats. We saw a few kayakers. But that's been it. We kind of have this whole lake to ourselves. I mean, definitely, I feel like this is a very underrated activity to do in La Fortuna. Uh, we kind of just found it by Google and things to do, and we came across, you know, a kayak rental. Uh, but you can even rent jet skis at this place. You can go on a boat tour. You can rent paddle boards. You know, all that kind of stuff. So, I think if you got a day to kill, this is this is really the way to spend it. I mean, this is gorgeous. Cool. Well, it looks like we made it just in time. It actually just started raining. I mean, we are in a rainforest after all. So we're just chilling with the dog <laughs> under the uh, little overhang right now. Wait to be picked up, take back to town. But yeah, man, this was an amazing day from waterfalls to the jungle suspension bridges to kayaking. We kind of did it all. Uh, it was definitely a jam-packed day, so I think we're gonna go head back, uh, relax a bit, get some dinner in town. La Fortuna really does have some awesome little charming restaurants. It's a really cool town. Uh, so I think it'll be cool to kind of explore that, show you guys around a bit, and uh, yeah, we'll head back. After heading back into town, we came across a nice little dinner spot with some live music. One of our friends we met even managed to get up on stage and start performing with the guy. <laughs> After dinner, we walked around and explored the town for a little bit. We eventually even stumbled upon a local soccer match. What's up, buddy? On the way back to the hostel, we made a few more furry friends that politely volunteered to walk us the rest of the way home. With our first full day here in Costa Rica complete, it was time to get some rest and wake up bright and early for another day filled with adventure. Well, we've officially made it to the next day. As I said, we are doing one of the famous volcano hikes. So right now we are in the complete middle of the jungle and it's actually me, Hamza, and then two people that we met at the hostel we're staying at. So we all decided to do this hike together and it is beautiful so far. And the best thing is that we actually this morning got a perfect view of the volcano. There were hardly any clouds. So I'm hoping it stays that way, but we'll see. Well, we've seen our first miniature wildlife sightings. Uh, there's so many like trails of these red ants and they're always carrying like these leaves. And it's just really cool. We've seen them like all over like, a bunch of different colonies. And then we've seen a few little lizards here and there, but uh, still yet to see anything really big like a snake or a monkey. So keeping our eyes peeled. Finally got some wind. Looks like we're coming up on our first view of the volcano. Finally getting some nice wind and man, it feels amazing because it is so damn hot out here, even in the shade. Oh. Well, we have made it to the first viewpoint and I gotta say it is unbelievable. It looks like something straight out of a movie or like Jurassic Park or something. 
and luckily the clouds are kind of hovering around the top but we got some clear sights of the top so i think we're going to continue on hiking there's the big arenal lake where we were kayaking on so we're hopefully going to go down there get some cool views of that and hopefully some more views of the volcano but this is truly amazing and being out here in the open we get a big breeze so it feels really good in this heat but really one of the coolest things about just being in Costa Rica and doing the whole backpacking life, staying in hostels, is you meet so many people. And that's actually how we all kind of met. And we all said, we're gonna do this hike. So we all did it together and it, it saves cost and it's really fun because you make more connections along the way. I asked both Jay and Marila if they didn't mind sharing a bit more of their travel journey and how they ended up here in Costa Rica. I'm always fascinated by hearing more about other people's journeys and perspectives, especially when we all come from different countries around the world. Hey everyone, I'm Jay. Um, I'm originally from Mumbai. I study in Philadelphia. Um, I am doing a solo trip to Costa Rica and I met Joe here and it's it's been incredible just going random places like, hey, do you want to go to this hike? To mo like, and we just, we just did it, which is sort of awesome. And I think the best part about meeting, you know, traveling is meeting people. Um, it's just an incredible experience. Uh, hello, my name is Mariela. I come from Chile and I met Joe and he just invited me with his friends for a walking tour around the nature. We are here in Costa Rica and it's pretty cool because we just met like one hour ago and here we are. That's what I love about traveling. We continued on hiking and eventually found a huge group of wild monkeys just playing right there in the trees. Well, we finally just had our first like real wildlife uh, sighting. We saw a bunch of these monkeys all in this open area right now. They're jumping on trees. They're like fighting, I guess one of the guys was saying. Um, there's also like these turkeys. It's, this is amazing. But I actually overheard one of the guys say that this particular species of monkey is actually um, on the verge of extinction, which is pretty sad, I guess, because of habitat loss and people are hunting them, um, which is really unfortunate because they're just the coolest things to watch. So next, we're gonna start making our way a little more up the mountain and hopefully get some really cool view of the volcano. And I guess it's called like the Lava Rock Hike. So hopefully we see something pretty cool. We finally made it up to one of the best viewing points of the volcano. And we were particularly lucky because the volcano is actually only visible for around 60 days out of the year. So seeing it with no clouds is very rare. If you wanna add this hike to your Costa Rica itinerary, I'm gonna attach the name and location of it below in the description. So right now we are actually sitting on all these lava rocks, which are from like the pyroclastic flow. I think I said that right. But you can see there's just so many thousands of black rocks all leading up right to the volcano. So just a little bit of history. I believe this volcano last erupted 14 years ago. Um, a pretty decent eruption too, like tons of lava and everything. And a lot of that over the years of just erosion and lava flow and all that has created these unbelievable lava rocks. It just it's like a sea of green growing out of the black rocks. It's amazing. After hiking back down, we headed back to the hostel to meet up with our friend Chris for the next adventure. Chris has actually been to La Fortuna multiple times now, which meant he knew of some really cool local spots. He even rented a car, which made getting around a lot easier and a little bit more fun. Well, we've actually just made it to another stop. There's like a little local rope swing uh, over a bunch of water. So we're gonna go check that out.
Oh man. Well, that was amazing. Y'all got to see me embarrass myself on the rope swing. <laughs> Fortunately, I can't do any flips or any of that cool stuff, but eh, still having fun. So I think now we're gonna just uh, go for a little drive, kind of cruise around and explore more of the area. spent in Costa Rica is certainly one that I'll never forget. We later actually ended up flying down to the coast to finish exploring a bit more of the country. However, we decided to put the cameras down for this one in order to just be a bit more present and live in the moment. There's so much that I'm going to take away from this trip, but I think some of the best memories were made from simply spending time with the people we met along the way. The more I traveled, the more I realized just how important it is to surround yourself with the right people. I'm super grateful to have checked off another country on the list and leave it with so many new memories and friendships. So I wanna say thanks as always to all of you for taking the time to watch and I'll catch you again in exactly two weeks on the other side of the world.